children's message. I'm so glad you joined us today in this season of Pentecost, or Ordinary Time. Before we get to our new story, let's remember what we had in our story last time. Last time we remembered that we don't just want to hear the word, we want to do it too. So let's remember how we can listen to the message today and think about it all week long. So, let's turn in our Veggie Tales Bible to Mark 7, 24 through 37, and it reads as follows. Jesus went from there to a place near Tyre. He entered a house. He did not want anyone to know where he was, but he could not keep it a secret. Soon a woman heard about him, and even an evil spirit controlled her daughter. The woman came to Jesus and fell at his feet. She was a Greek, born in Cyrene, Felicia. He begged Jesus, she begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her. It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she replied, but even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, this was a good reply. You may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home and found her child lying on the bed, and the demon was gone. Our other story says, Then Jesus left the area of Tyre and went through Sidon. He went down to the Sea of Galilee and into the areas known as the Tent Cities. There, some people brought a man to him. The man was deaf and could mm. hardly speak. Mm -hmm. They begged Jesus to place his nah. hands on him. Jesus took the man to one side, away from the crowd. He put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. Jesus looked up to heaven. With a deep sigh, he said to the man, Epiphania. This means be open. The man's ears were open. His tongue was freed up, and he began to speak clearly. Jesus ordered the people not to tell anyone. But the more he did, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were really amazed. He has done everything well, they said. He even makes deaf people able to hear. And he makes those who can't speak able to talk. Wow. We had two people today in our story who really needed help from Jesus. And did you know that can be us too? We might really need help, and it's okay to ask for help and to be open to receiving help from others and even God's help. And this time of year when we're going back to school and we're doing new things is a really good time to remember how we can ask for help from the grown-ups around us or from our friends or God, who we know goes with us every step of the way. So this little guy here, he shows his hand is actually up like this. Didi, can we show them? Excuse me. Okay, his hand is up like this because he's showing that he's ready to receive help, and we can do that too. So before we end today, let's put our hands together in prayer. Dear God, when we face challenges and when we do new things, please help us to remember that it's okay to ask for help from the people around us, from our grown-ups, from you. We're so glad that you care about us and that we can go to you and the people around us for help. Help us to stay safe and to have a good new school year. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.